It's time to meet our latest internet star. Or should I say stars? Back in 2010, two Brits wondered if anyone would be interested in watching super slow-mo clips on YouTube. Ugh. Six million subscribers and over 630 million views later, I think it's safe to say they are. We are the slow-mo guys. And we make super slow-motion videos using phantom cameras. I was a freelance camera operator in the UK. There would just be these times at the weekends where we weren't doing anything, and this amazing, expensive, high-speed camera was just sat there, so I asked if I could borrow them for the weekend. This is the Phantom Flex 4K. It's quite a new one. It's uh, basically very high resolution at 1,000 frames a second. For filming with slow motion, you need a lot of light. The more light, the more, more frames per second you can get. This is actually set right now to 25 frames a second, which is standard English TV. And as you can see, as soon as I start rising the frame rate up, you see the image just gets darker and darker and darker until we're at 1,000 frames a second. But thankfully, due to the sun, it looks great. I usually like to leave the filming to Gavin. I have to work the camera, right? That's his I excuse, think, I think right? it's a valid excuse. That's his excuse. I'm happy being in the videos, uh, being the subject of the video. You see the state of his lab coat, he might get splashed occasionally with a bit of paint and then <laughs> complain about it, whereas I'm just caked in the stuff. The boys started their online video empire with a very simple offering, the slow motion slap around the face. This video amassed a whopping 1.2 million views. <laughs> Since then, Gavin and Dan have produced over 100 super slow-mo videos for their YouTube channel, with the most popular being them bouncing around on a big red water balloon. Over 103 million people have watched this cinematic masterpiece, The Mind Boggles. In this video, we are going to shove a drill bit through a piece of white card, right? Yeah, we're going to cover it in lots of different colours of paint and uh, hopefully get some nice swirly patterns. We'll film it at 1,000 frames a second using the Phantom Flex 4K. So uh, definitely watch this in 4K if you can. It'll be crisp. glorious crisp. and crisp. All right, do it. You ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. OK, cool. I never press go on the camera. The camera's always running. And then when I hit the button, it stops. And you have the previous four seconds. That, That's that is cool. exactly what we want. Look at those circles. Just as, as soon as it starts spinning, it doesn't do anything, and then after a few spins, it really gets going, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. It looks good enough to eat, doesn't it? I think uh, more paint next time. More paint? Yeah. All right. OK, so this is our sort of art department prop shed. We've actually got everything ranging from sort of garden equipment to Lego mouse traps and flamethrower. Yeah, flamethrower. We have a list. It's probably over 100 items on this list that we're slowly working through. Matches. Crossbow. Fish tank. Airbags. Condoms. <laughs> We've sort of got through the easy ones. We're now getting to more difficult ones. So we used to be able to shoot maybe eight in a day. Now we can film, like, two or three in a day, just because the setup is longer. So this is where I edit all the videos. This stuff is looking lovely. <laughs> the most time-consuming part of the editing is adding of the sound effects. And the Phantom doesn't record any sound. So typically, I'll download some sound effects, retime the real-time sound effects, or just make some sound effect with my mouth that kind of matches. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thanks for watching that video, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>